What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel, Kelly Builds. And in today I'm going to be doing a little bit of cutting on the 32. So if you've been around for a little bit, you know I'm not a super big fan of cutting. Um, Travis started to do this, I think, what was it, last night? Yeah. So I'm just gonna finish this off. I'm probably gonna add some of what Travis is doing on the 36, just because this is not so riveting. But I'll let Trav tell you a little bit more because he was just explaining to me like he wants to keep this piece in tact, even though he's gonna be cutting it off. We have another, the back piece is over there that, I don't know, I'll let you take over. <laughs> uh, so, what are we doing? All right, so <laughs> this piece, apparently back in the day, I think someone shaved this trunk lid, so it's just a smooth back piece. Um, and then someone else, tried to cut it back out to make a trunk and realized that there was no gutter or anything in there and probably just gave up. Um, so I want to take this top layer, this guy, off. I've already started. Um, even though it is crappy under here and I'm gonna have to cut it off anyway, I don't know why I just want to take it off. I, it's probably wasting my time and I should probably just slice it here and take it all off, but this in particular is very important um i want to grind this stuff um off and see like the condition of this corner if i have to cut make a piece and cut this bead in half or if i can cut like here and weld to it there but a uh, butt weld not overlap like that is uh, yeah i'll have kelly cut the rest of this or grind kelly's it off. cutting cutting with kelly Grind it with Kelly. I don't know. Yeah, right. we're gonna do something. That's that's uh, what I at least know. So for this, I'm just going to do eyes, ears, and gloves. Um, gotta keep my PPE bases covered. I thought it was warmer out, so I don't know if I should get a jacket. It was when the sun was out. Yeah, it was, I was outside earlier and it was like kind of nice out, but now. Not really. That nice. What a look, huh? I guess I'll show you Crab what he's doing. He's working on this is a customer car 36. So I don't know if you guys know, but we do this is um this is our business is working on the hot rod. Well, working on the hot rods. Travis does all the customer metal stuff. Huh? Cheap metal restoration. Cheap metal cheap <laughs> cheap metal we sheep, sheep metal restoration. So this is what we have in the shop now. Um, I'll let, I'll show you guys because he does some pretty, some pretty good work. This guy does, I'd say. While I get my ears start to inflate, I'll show you. Oops, I looked right at it. Look at that. Tig master. So he made this piece or he added to it and did something. Yeah, this these patches for some reason they make this piece, the bead, and it curls on there about a half an inch. And doesn't have any of this in it. Um, it's, I don't understand, I don't understand it. Makes no sense. <laughs> if this is rotted, this is going to be rotted. And this most likely is going to be rotted too. I don't know if it's too complicated and I can't make it, but whatever. That's why they come to you. Yep. So that's what he's working on. He's already worked. He posts this on his channel as well. This piece. This piece. And then it looks like they haven't done anything over there yet. But my ears are officially inflated in my in my ears. So now I can't hear much. So I'm just gonna get right into cutting this off. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Uh-oh. Hold it this way, like this. Yeah. And this isn't going to fly off, right? 
so I can fly off. It's moving. This. It moved. Please hold. Yeah, it's Sounds nice. Now, yeah. And then I can stay. It's probably up two two seconds. There's clouds all around it. Yeah, I know. Oh well. Try that again. Try this with some wood underneath here because I can't really reach the top very well. There's like nothing. So I'm trying to feel here and feel on the outside, but where would I go? This is a well line. This. Yeah, but I was trying to stay closer to the outside, or this side. Don't matter. matter. Shut that. Okay.
I was gonna get. <laughs> start from the bottom and go huh? up. I can start from the bottom and go up. Yeah, just make sure you're where you need to be. You got a big angle. Huh? You got a big angle. You're going that way. Put the bottom in. Bottom towards the frame. There you go. going through a couple spots um mostly like kind of when I first started then I kind of got the hang of it down here and then whoopsie I tried my best for sure so that piece is off wow look at that looks like crap but yeah so that's off woohoo also a little update some people were asking about a drive shaft and we do have or we don't have one but we have a friend who has one so I don't know do you yeah um friend Joe is giving us a drive shaft he had one it's almost a perfect length perfect. uh just waiting on a coupler from third gen auto and we're gonna have the coupler or the drive shaft machine I forget which one needs to be machined and stuff it in the coupler I'm gonna weld the coupler and we can literally just Put the coupler into the rear end and the other end's gonna go to the transmission and we'll be all set perfect oh and then do you want to talk about because a lot of people were asking in the last video about uh not cutting it uh balancing, balancing it yeah so i'll have travis explain do you want to go over and show well, it's, you know, it's really nothing to explain well um, you know i want to add some information okay. here you're gonna go in oh you want me to go inside okay <laughs> So, these early Fords, as you can tell, this housing pretty much continues into here. It's This is bolted in, so there's no way this can spin. This doesn't spin. There's a drive shaft inside of it that spins, so this torque tube itself does not have to be balanced because it doesn't move. Um, the drive shaft would have to be balanced if I cut it, um, even though... I cut the roasted pickups drive shaft in the middle and didn't balance it, and it's perfectly fine. I've been 65, 70 in that car, and nothing. It's perfect. Uh, maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. But this one, we're not cutting the drive shaft that we're getting from Joe, so there's no balance to be needed. Um, there you go. That's it. <laughs> it's not. I just wanted to add a little bit more because um, I see like the comments and people do have questions so I figure I would just add it in and we can have I like a good visual explanation as well I feel like sometimes with the comments it's a little overwhelming so I'd rather just visually show you guys kind of what he's talking about mostly what Travis is talking about <laughs> I'm just here for a good time happy to be here that's it <laughs> So I was just about to wrap up because Travis is working on customer stuff and with the 32 there's really not much else I can do without his help. And we just looked at the weather and it's actually about to start to rain so we're going to have to move the 36 back and bring the 32 in because obviously that cannot be in the rain.
small, small quarters. earlier we were playing outside with the kids or I was playing outside with the kids and now it's like holy crap chilly woolly Dexter what? I'm coming I'm coming Grab that corner. okay people let's help Travis <laughs> You don't put anything on it to hold it down. Or in the door, but. Oh, yeah. Use these ones. Tucked in tight. I like that construction site book. Where are you looping it on? There you go. Got a good little system, huh? Ooh, I'll get in here. Well, now Travis is going to be working back here. This is here with no room, and the Model A is pushed up nice and close. So I guess there's really not, not much to work on at the moment. Um, so I guess I'll just wrap it up here, keep it a short, quick, little update video. Um, Travis's channel, um, RAC Garage, I can link it in the description below. He also goes into more in-depth stuff, um, not even just with the 32, he has like tons of Model A content. I don't know, all sorts of fun hot rod content. So be sure to check out his channel. And thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Boop.